The 2022 tax season is officially here and the IRS has already warned of a messy filing process due to staffing issues and paperwork backlogs. Oh boy. Well, we want to help make the process a little easier for you before the April 18th deadline. Joining us live with the latest on all the new tax laws that you need to know about enrolled tax agent Carla Dennis. Welcome, Carla. Thank you so much. How are you? Oh, we're great. Good. Thanks for being here. Uh, we're going to jump right into this first major change, and I know a lot of people might not be aware of this, but it's for taxpayers who use those third-party payment apps, things like PayPal and, and Venmo. And now we might have to report some of that. Is that right? That's right. Payment app providers will now have to report any amount over $600 versus $20,000 in the past. This means a lot more taxpayers are going to have information sent to IRS on their behalf. And IRS is really looking to close the tax gap, which is basically what they think taxpayers should be reporting and what taxpayers are actually reporting. For taxpayers using third-party payment apps, they're going to start to receive 1099K forms from PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, and other third-party payment apps. And this also means IRS is going to have that information as well. And taxpayers are supposed to support and report all of their income from any source to IRS. IRS is now gonna have a record of it, meaning more people are going to have to work towards tax compliance. And when IRS receives third-party information, 1099s and W-2s, IRS is expecting that taxpayers are going to report that on their individual tax return. And when that doesn't happen, that means that taxpayers could potentially be audited, could potentially receive a CP2000 notice in the mail causing them to get into a tax situation. And it's really going to be an issue with a lot of correspondence going out to taxpayers. IRS now is going to have increased visibility into business transactions. My advice is for taxpayers to really keep meticulous records, really track the amount of money that's going through those third-party payment apps. A lot of people will use those apps when they go out to dinner to split payments and so forth. But when you're receiving money via a third-party payment app, you really are putting yourself in a business category. It's going to be really important to also track all of your expenses associated with making that money because technically you really are self-employed and you want to make sure that you're in good compliance so that you don't get yourself in what I like to call a tax slinky. Okay, now for taxpayers who qualified for the advanced child tax credit, they actually might end up owing money to the IRS. Yes, for taxpayers that actually receive the advanced child tax credit, IRS paid out starting in July. They gave taxpayers an advance from July all the way through December. So now what's going to happen is when the taxpayers file their income tax return, they may be surprised and they may actually owe because it was an advance. It wasn't additional money. So when they file their tax returns, they have to now reconcile that additional money to what they have received. The child tax credit was $3,600 if you were five and below, and it was um, an additional $3,000 if you were six up to ages 17. So a lot of taxpayers have already received $1,800 if they had kids that were six and below, and $1,500 for kids that were above that age limit. All right, Carla, what about charitable donations? Some changes in that as well this year. Yes, this year, IRS is allowing taxpayers to donate 100% of their adjusted gross income to charity. That's a huge change from 60% in the past. 
this increased percentage will require taxpayers to make an election on their tax return. It's not going to be automatic. So those who did will definitely want to make that election so that they can save money. Also this year, they are going to allow taxpayers who don't itemize their deductions to take a $300 charitable deduction if you're single and $600 if you are married filing joint. So that again will help taxpayers save money. And these are gonna be even items that were donated to schools, food, nonprofit organizations and so forth. All right, some good advice. And uh, there's probably a lot more questions that people can answer. Carla, thanks for joining us. And once again, enrolled tax agent Carla Dennis is the founder of Carla Dennis and Associates in La Palma for more information. You can visit CarlaDennis.com, get some of those other questions answered. You can also get her free 2022 tax tips ebook on our website.